It's been just over a year since we first detected gravitational waves. Those are waves literally traveling through space-time. Okay, let's back up. Space-time? What the hell is that? I'm Summer Ash, and I'm an astrophysicist obsessed with space because space is awesome. Space-time is something Albert Einstein conceived. His theory of general relativity says that space and time are actually a single continuum. So gravity is how space-time is warped by mass. The more massive the object, the more space-time is warped around it. When a massive object is accelerating, it not only warps space-time, it sends ripples out in all directions. And these ripples are what we call gravitational waves. Here's how we detected them. There are two observatories, one in Louisiana and one in Washington State. Together, they make up LIGO, Laser Interferometer Gravitational Wave Observatory. I so wanna go see one of those in person. Each observatory has two four kilometer arms that emanate from a central system of lasers and mirrors. Frickin' lasers. A laser beam is sent down each arm where it hits a mirror and is reflected back to the center. The laser beams are calibrated to hit the center at the same time, so they cancel each other out. But if a gravitational wave is passing through Earth, it will interfere and cause a slight distortion. That means the beams won't cancel each other out and we detect a signal. Amazingly, that detection was incredibly small. The arms of each observatory were only stretched by the width of a proton. But that signal was made by two black holes, more massive than our sun, merging over 1.3 billion light years away. Less than a year later, LIGO detected another pair of black holes merging. Now it's waiting, arms open, ready to catch the next wave. Hey NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.